Hi, my name is Taylor from the ADK Extra Credit Podcast. I'm here in our Life in the Adirondacks exhibit at the Adirondack Experience, the museum on Blue Mountain Lake. In one of our podcast episodes, we talked about Theodore Roosevelt's night ride to the presidency. In 1901, the president at the time, William McKinley, had just been shot and was dying in Buffalo, New York. Meanwhile, the vice president at the time, Theodore Roosevelt, was on top of Mount Marcy, New York's highest point, right here in the Adirondacks. So, he had to quickly leave the Adirondacks in order to get to Buffalo. He had to take several carriages in order to get to the train station in North Creek, New York. Here at the museum, we have one of those carriages. You want to come see it? Follow me. We call this a Surrey, which is another name for a carriage. This Surrey belonged to a man named Michael Cronin, the owner of a hotel called Aiden Lair in Minerva, New York. Michael Cronin was also the driver of this carriage, and he took Theodore Roosevelt on his last leg of the trip here in the Adirondacks. They drove at breakneck speeds in the middle of the night on dangerous roads to get to the North Creek train station. Then, Roosevelt got on a train and went safely to Buffalo, New York. It's pretty cool to think that the 26th president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, rode in this carriage. And it's even cooler that we have it right here at the Adirondack Experience, the museum on Blue Mountain Lake. <laughs>